Hi guys, in today's video I have a haul for you guys. So today I went to the range, Pets at Home, b &M, and just other places like that. So I thought I'll film a haul for you guys. The first place I went to was the range and I got, I've never seen these before. They are sweet green hay cookies and they are basically like the board and breaker brand but they're cheaper. So they're the exact same size as the board and breakers. They're actually I think a better size, I think. I'm not sure because I haven't seen them properly. And yeah, these are only 2 99 I think, or 1 99 I think they were 2 99 and these are not to replace hay, these are more a really healthy treat. And my gerbils, my hamsters, my rabbit will go crazy for these. So, um, and they're actually in a really nice natural packaging. And I actually hope this is something that B&M will continue. If my camera does add to focus. So I absolutely love this so far. But you know. But yeah, I absolutely love this so far as like a brand. And this is, I think, b and I'm not b and I think this is like the Ranger's own brand. I'm not exactly sure. But this is not to replace hay, just so anyone doesn't get confused. But that was 2 99 And yes, yeah, so the next thing I got was for the dogs. And it is the Pedigree Ranchos original. Um, it is 95% meat and it is rich in chicken. And it's, it's not the greatest thing to be honest to feed your dog. But it's not... The most unhealthy thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So, you know, I don't mind. And that, I think, is £2. And then I got a ankle tough tube. And this is just in the colour red. And I had two of these. And both my hamsters, bon well, one of my past hamsters, sorry, Bonnie, and one of my current hamsters, Ferris, they shredded the inside and they absolutely destroyed it. So, currently, I've got Ash, who has tried one. And he, he liked it. Like, he wasn't too fussed. And I've got one of my new hamsters. She's a Syrian pup. So I'm not exactly sure what she's going to think of this. But you know, it's always nice to try new things. Then I got um, some Vitacraft drops. And these are in, these are sugar free. And these are in the carrot flavour. I don't buy treats. That, I always buy the sugar free ones lately. Because for one, they're just slightly healthier. I know Vitacraft and companies like that like to lie to you. I might get into trouble for saying this, but... The problem that you have is with giving these to rabbits and guinea pigs, because it, it has pictures of rabbits and guinea pigs on, these contain dairy and eggs, which are not safe for rabbits and guinea pigs. Rabbits and guinea pigs are um, herbivores and just, it can do a lot of damage to them. So then the next thing we got from the range was these for the dogs, and this is the James Well Beloved, I think they're called Mini Jacks, I'm not too sure. And they're actually reduced, so it's supposed to be £2.39, they're £1.20, and they are duck, they are hypoallergenic. I love the James Arbor Loved brand, but it's quite expensive. So, um, this is just what I was in the back. I'm all for feeding my dog some more natural products. Molly, one of the Westies, is prone to absolutely everything with her skin. So, giving her treats like this is the best thing for her, to be honest with you. And it is for all my dogs. It's just, you've got to be a lot more careful with Molly. Then, from the range, I got this. And I'm rather annoyed at the range for this. So... This is the Tiny Friends Farm Harry Ham um, Charlie and Harry and Jerry bathing sand. And you want to get this instead of um the dust. Yeah, so basically you want to get this instead of the dust. So you know and I got lied to on this. So this is supposed to be two pounds fifty reduced to one pound fifty. Oh no, it was three pounds fifty reduced to one pound fifty or two pounds fifty. I think it was two pounds fifty. And I said, oh this is cheaper than what it is better home, which is three pounds. And um, the woman looked up the thing and she didn't deduct the one pound or something like one pound, I think it was off it, even though it said on the thing that it was such and such a price. So I don't mind, they've got sand. Then I went to a local market, which is up in St. Helens, which is about an hour away from where I live. And this is the cherry popcorn, I think they're called pet pop, so I don't know, something like that. And they're by the Little Friends brand, which you can get on um, Little Pet Warehouse, which I love. These are the Gerbil's favourite treats of all time. So the Gerbil's go absolutely crazy for these. These are one of the only treats the Gerbil's can have. And from what I can tell, these are not safe for guinea pigs. No, I don't think they are. I'm not sure. Probably not the greatest of ideas. So, yep. Yeah. So I'm now going to show you guys what I get from Pets Home and the and b &M. And then from Pets at Home, I got this. So this is the... I only got one here from B&M and Pets at Home. I got the Pets Christmas Noir Tree. It is huge. I don't know who this is going to be going to yet. 
probably just gonna go to the gym. Also, they don't get like many new new toys because everything they destroy within five seconds. So, you know. But yeah, and that was only three pound. That was part of the Christmas collection. I will be going back the very last day of December, and then oh no, Christmas Boxing Day actually. Everything's on sale, so that's my plan. Next up, something I've actually opened, and it is the Nature's Timothy High. No, it's Nature's Natural Goodness Timothy High. Dandelion and Marigold. This is not the main hay I typically tend to feed my guinea pigs. It's just like completely ran out of hay and I needed hay so you know they got hay. So yeah thank you guys for watching. Here's everything I've got and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.